Hi, my name is Chanel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a photo book transfer. This is what it's going to look like. This is the backing of it. You can either do it portrait style or landscape. It doesn't matter. It just depends on what size picture you want. Just know the dimensions before you cut out the wood, which you can get done at Home Depot, or you can just have one of your friends do it for you. This is what a black and white one looks like. That one turns out too, so you can do black and white. First, you're just gonna need Mod Podge, or however you pronounce it. I just got this at Michael's. I got this for Michael's too. A little spongy little thing. Just simple wood. So you're just gonna wanna print out your photo on regular paper. Thin paper is the best so that later you can scrub it off easily. You're gonna grab your gloss gel. Mine's a medium gloss gel. And you're just gonna spread this all over the wood where the photo's gonna be placed. Just to make sure the photo transfers completely, I just put extra gloss gel on the actual photo and make sure you get the corners so that um, it doesn't peel at the ends because mine sort of had trouble with that because I didn't add enough at the end. So just make sure yours are good. Once you place the photo on the wood, you're gonna wanna smooth out any bubbles on there and just completely make sure it's sealed onto the wood. It'll take 8 to 10 hours for that to dry completely and while you're waiting for that you can start doing the backing of the Polaroid if you want to do the Polaroid style. Of course you can always just leave it as a plain wood. Once it's finished drying you're going to want to get a cup of water and then start spreading the water on top of the photo. Next, you're going to gently rub off the paper with a washcloth or you can use your fingers if you feel like you're going to be too rough. Um, just do it very gently and slowly so that you can make sure you don't rub off any of the actual photo on the wood. Once all the paper is completely removed, you're going to want to grab your Mod Podge and then in order to seal it, you'll do one to three thin layers. To give it a finished look, I'm just finishing the borders with the white paint and making it look like a Polaroid to match the back. If you have any questions or if you have any other tips, you can leave comments down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you so much.